Hey, I'm Pastor Ashley, and I'm back with our daily prayer emphasis. It's Friday, and today we're going to be finishing up on the armor of God. Would you follow along with me in Ephesians chapter 6, starting at verse 16? This is what it says. In all circumstances, take up the shield of faith, with which you can extinguish all the flaming darts of the evil one, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. So first of all, we need the shield of faith. This isn't just an itty bitty little shield. This is a shield as tall as the soldier. And it was made out of wood. So the enemies would fire these flaming arrows at their opponents in hopes that the shield would catch fire and the soldier would put their shield down. But the shield of faith actually extinguishes these fiery darts. So don't put your shield down. Keep it up knowing that the shield of faith extinguishes those. Next up, we have the helmet of salvation. See, on the helmet, there would be this emblem identifying who that soldier belonged to. Our salvation lets us know we belong to Christ. We are his, and we can walk in that confidence. And lastly, we need the sword of the spirit. We need the word of God. And you see, this is not something we have to interpret and figure out on our own, because not only were we given God's word, we were given the Holy Spirit to know and interpret and know how to use it and when. So why don't you put on all three pieces of the armor of God, plus the three from last week. Continue to pray through the armor of God and join me as we fight against the evil one.